Live and local with coverage you can count on. This is WNEM TV 5 News at 6.30. Panic at a mid-Michigan nightclub after a violent incident late Saturday night. A suspect is in custody after three people were stabbed at Wayside Central in Mount Pleasant. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jamie Sherrod. TV 5's Blake Keller spoke with police about the incident. A night of dancing and letting loose quickly turned serious at Wayside Central Nightclub near Central Michigan University's campus. So officers responded to the Wayside Bar at 1155 for an assault that took place. Mount Pleasant Sergeant Brandon Bliss tells TV5 officers identified three victims who were stabbed by a knife in the incident. That required medical attention. Um, all three victims were transported to local hospitals. Sergeant Bliss says one victim has been treated and released from the hospital already. One has been released. Uh, one has not been released, and I'm unsure of the status on the third. Police say the incident was isolated and stemmed from a verbal argument inside the bar. Police were able to identify and arrest the suspect. Yeah, the suspect has been identified, is in custody, is lodged at this Bella County Jail on two counts of attempted homicide. There were concerns about Wayside remaining open during the incident. Sergeant Bliss says it actually helped them in their investigation. Um, they were able to identify witnesses and uh, people of concern through the uh, surveillance. Again, police say this was an isolated incident, but they're reassuring the Mount Pleasant and CMU community that their safety is top priority. Your safety is our number one priority. Uh, we're doing all that we can do to ensure that uh, everybody continues to stay safe. Police will continue to investigate. In Mount Pleasant, Blake Keller, WNEM TV5. In a statement, Wayside Central said in part, at the direction of law enforcement, we maintain business operations to allow officers to create a perimeter, and we assisted in gathering information from witnesses, as well as obtaining video surveillance. The suspect is expected to be arraigned tomorrow. Mount Pleasant Police say if you have any helpful information, contact their tip line. You can see the full statement on WNEM.com. Well, new tonight, vandalism at a local park after a $40,000 investment was nearly destroyed. The basketball court at Burston Fieldhouse on Saginaw Street in Flint torn apart. Police believe a vehicle destroyed the rubber composite material on the court behind the building sometime after 7 p.m. Saturday. Crime Stoppers is offering a $1,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest. Just call 1-800-422-JAIL. Democratic presidential candidate Mike Bloomberg's Flint campaign office was also vandalized. Officials say it happened earlier this month with a sign that says, Eat the Rich. In a statement, the campaign said multiple instances of vandalism have taken place at campaign locations across the country. Adding offices in Ann Arbor were spray painted with the phrase corporate pig. It's not clear if the incidents are connected. Well, above average weather continued today, leading to another round of clear skies as we take a live look over mid-Michigan. But that trend taking a slight turn starting tomorrow. Tracking our forecast tonight in the First Warn 5 Weather Center is meteorologist John Gross. Hi, John. Yeah, hey there, Jamie. We have beautiful sunshine today. Temperatures very mild back into the 40s and the 50s. And I hope you enjoyed because we've got some changes coming your way as early as next week. Here's a look at the current temperatures out the door if you're about to step out this evening. Got a good mix of the 40s and the 30s, 36 in Gladwin, 43 still in Bay City. We're at 49 in Flint. All is quiet on your first worn five pinpoint Doppler live from MBS. Clear skies going into the rest of this evening. High pressure that's been keeping us dry and sunny continues to drift off or over towards the Atlantic. Next storm system over towards Kansas and Oklahoma will be moving our way as early as tomorrow evening. But for the rest of tonight, no problems. Temperatures falling down into the 30s. We'll track out some rain and snow by midweek. Coming up here in just a little bit. Thank you, John. What well, happening tomorrow, the case of a mid-Michigan mother charged with child abuse that led to the death of her infant son moves forward. A pretrial hearing is scheduled in a Saginaw County courtroom for Megan Schweinsberg. The 28-year-old faces first-degree child abuse in an incident that stems in a July home on the 2800 block of North Michigan in Carleton Township. The one-year-old boy was burned and beaten before his death. The mother's live-in boyfriend is charged with murder. If convicted, Schweinsberg faces a maximum life sentence with the possibility of parole. 
A swearing-in ceremony will be held for new Midland Police Chief Nicole Ford. Ford began her duties earlier this month. She's a 22-year law enforcement veteran and the first ever female police chief for the city. Ford's swearing-in ceremony takes place tomorrow at 6 p.m. at Midland City Hall. While developing news tonight, a state panel will consider proposed limits of toxic chemicals in drinking water. An oversight committee is expected to vote Thursday on regulations that would set maximum levels of seven types of chemicals known as PFAS. The chemicals are used in a wide variety of industrial and consumer products and are linked to numerous health problems. The committee could approve or reject the proposed regulations or make changes. The rules would apply to about 2,700 water suppliers across the state. Bay City will kick off a new education campaign to support the largest expansion of recycling in city history. Tomorrow, city leaders will launch the partnership with the State Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy. The campaign will inform residents on what they can and can't recycle while calling on the population to eliminate items like wire hangers, plastic bags and foam packaging from curbside bins. Bay City is among six communities teaming up with the agency on similar campaigns. A news conference is scheduled for tomorrow at 1030 at the Bay City Recycles facility. More local news, community support for a Saginaw County teacher battling cancer. At Stardust Lanes today, a $15 donation earned you a spot on one of 12 lanes with all proceeds helping Corey Duquette as he battles cancer. Duquette, a teacher at Carleton High School, was diagnosed in December of 2018. The cancer eventually spread through his body. Cancer had spread some, and so they were going to do a more evasive treatment, which meant he wasn't able to work. Otherwise, he was trying to work and continue to volunteer and coach. You can also drop off donations at Carleton High School. Well, seasonal road restrictions taking effect tomorrow in multiple mid-Michigan counties. How your commute may be affected coming up next. Three people are dead after a charter bus crash in Southern California. The factors that investigators are considering in the crash coming up.